This video is an overview for the Clipso Next Gen Relay Panel. These panels come in configurations of 16 and 8 relays. This configuration is an 8 relay panel. There are three main components of this system. The relay firing card, the relays, and the 24 volt DC isolated power supply. To demonstrate the functionality of the system, we will be using an LED board which will act as our lighting loads and a Mystique 8 button switch. Now to review the termination points on the Calypso Next Gen relay panel. To the left side of the board, at the top, is for grouping. The green, black, gray, the green is for the on group, the black is for the off group, and the gray is for the maintain group. The orange termination points are for the switch inputs. The white is for the common. The blue is for the LED or pilot outputs. At the bottom of the board, the yellow yellow is for the 24 volt DC power to the board. If using a controller, such as a timekeeper, the plus minus shield gets entered at the green, black, red front at the bottom and the top of the board. The green terminations found in the middle is for a ground or return. The gray gray to the left and the gray blue at the bottom are for older systems with 6.3 volt LED commons and will be needed with newer systems. Now to review the dip switches for the Calypso Next Gen. The first dip switch block is for grouping. There are a total of eight dip switches. Dip switch one corresponds with relay one, dip switch two to relay two, all the way down to relay eight. If all eight of the dip switches are on, all eight relays will turn on. If I go ahead and shut the bottom four dip switches off, Only four of the relays will turn on. The second dip switch block is for a momentary and maintain function. The system comes from the, from the factory in a momentary preset. But if I would like relay eight to be on a main, maintain, then I would select dip switch number eight. I move it to the right in the maintain function. and it is now set up for a maintain cycle. If it's needed back for a momentary function, we just select the dip switch in the off setting. And now it's set up for a momentary contact. The next set of dip switches is the options. In the options, number seven will be the only one used. Number seven reverses the order of the relays. The preset is relay number one being at the top. If number seven is turned on, relay number one will now be at the bottom. The last set of dip switches for the Calypso Next Gen are the address dip switches. The only time these dip switches will be set into the on position is if a controller, such as a timekeeper, is being used. We hope this short video was helpful. To get more information, check us out on our website at touchplate.com.